Welcome to the Sunday Reach by Dominicans in India. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel gives us a powerful lesson about what it means to be truly great. We live in a world that often tells us greatness is about power, wealth, or status. But Jesus shows us a different path, a path where greatness is found in service, in putting others before ourselves. In the Gospel, James and John ask Jesus for special positions of honor in his kingdom. They wanted to be important to stand out. But Jesus turns their request upside down. He says, Whoever wants to be great must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be the slave of all. Jesus teaches us that true greatness is not about being in charge, it is about serving others. St. John Chrysostom, one of the early church fathers, said something beautiful about this. He said, the way to become great is by humility, not by grabbing for power. Jesus himself showed us this by choosing to serve. Even though he is the Son of God, he did not come to rule with an iron hand, but to love and serve us, even to the point of dying on the cross for us. Jesus asks James and John if they can drink the cup that he will drink. He is talking about his suffering. He is inviting them and us to share in his mission of service and love, even when it is difficult. St. Augustine explained that the cup Jesus speaks of is the cup of suffering, which he drank out of love and humility. Following Jesus means we too are called to serve and sacrifice out of love for others. In the first reading from Isaiah, we hear about the suffering servant, a prophecy about Jesus who would offer his life for us. This is the ultimate example of service, giving up everything for the sake of others. St. Gregory the Great said, The proof of love is what one is willing to suffer for the beloved. Jesus showed his love for us by dying on the cross, and he asks us to love others in the same way through service. But what does this look like in our daily lives? St. Teresa of Calcutta, who spent her life serving the poorest of the poor, said, If you want to be great, pick up a broom. In other words, greatness is found in the simple, humble acts of love we do for others every day, even when no one is watching. St. Francis of Assisi also understood this. He prayed, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. His life was a powerful example of joy in serving others without seeking recognition or reward. This kind of service is not just for a select few, like priests or religious. It's for all of us. Each one of us is called to serve. St. Ignatius of Antioch said, the greatest person is the one who becomes the smallest. The one who leads is the one who serves. Jesus calls us to lead through humble service, not by seeking attention or control. So what can we take from this today? It is simple. Jesus is asking us to serve, to give of ourselves, and to love others without looking for anything in return. St. Benedict said, in his rule, put nothing before Christ, and he will lead us to everlasting life. When we serve others, we serve Christ himself. Brothers and sisters, let us follow the path of Jesus, the path of humble service. Let us be inspired by the saints who live this message with joy and courage. And let us remember that true greatness is not found in power or fame, but in serving others with love just as Jesus did.